Hi everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to share with you all how you can display line breaks for a multi-line text column for a Teams meeting. The agenda today will be me doing a quick recap of what I showed you previously, followed by what the issue is, and then we're going to jump straight into the demo. Previously, I showed you how you can create and send a Teams meeting invite from Microsoft Dataverse and Dynamics 365. This utilized a Cloudflow and Power Automate where we were calling a couple of Graph API requests that would go ahead and send the Teams meeting to the required and optional attendees. The issue, however, that I explained towards the end of my WTF episode was how the value from the description column would display as a single line of text in the Teams meeting. So in this WTF episode today, I'm going to share with you all how you can get that line break showing in the Teams meeting from that multi-line text column. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the demo. In my Cloudflow, I have two additions that I made compared to what I showed you in my last WTF episode. The first one is a new Compose action, and this Compose action simply has a line break. So all I've done is I've hit enter, and that's it. That's all I've done to this Compose action. And then the other addition that I made was an update to my expression for the content property in my body. So this is in the HTTP request that calls the create event graph API request. And I'm using a couple of functions in my expression. The first expression that I'm using is if. Now in the documentation, it will explain how to use this expression. As you can see in the example, based on the value that you've defined, so in this example it's one, and if the value that you've defined equals true, so in other words, if one meets this value in here, it will return the value that you've defined as true. In this scenario, it's yes. Otherwise, it will return the value that is false. So in this scenario, it's no. In my Cloudflow, my expression is checking if the column for the description is null, then it will return null in the Teams meeting. So it's going to be blank. Otherwise, it's going to use a replace expression for my false statement. Now, with the replace expression, it is going to find the value that you've defined and replace it with the value that you've defined it to be replaced with. So in this example, it's saying in the string of the old string, find old and replace it with new, and this is the end result. So in my Cloudflow for this expression, what I'm saying in here is for every blank line that you find, replace it with the HTML tag of break. The reason why we're using an if function is to cater for when that description column is null. If you don't cater for that scenario, then your Cloudflow will fail. So it's good practice to account for columns that may have null values so that your Cloudflow does not fail. So that's why I'm using the if function for best practices. Okay, so let's see this in action. In my model driven app, I have a Teams meeting activity ready to go to be saved. In here, you can see that there is a description and we can see that there's line breaks in the multi-line text column. Now when I hit save, it should trigger my Cloudflow. Let's go back to my Cloudflow and review the run history. And we can see that it's running. So I'll give it a few more seconds. And there you have it. We can see that the flow has successfully ran. I'm going to open up Microsoft Teams and let's review the Teams meeting. And there you can see that we have line breaks 
in the Teams meeting. So now if we head back to my model driven app again and this time we create one where there is no description for the Teams meeting activity, it should still successfully run the Cloudflow without any errors. And when we have a look at the Teams meeting that's created, we shouldn't see a content in the description. Okay, so it successfully ran. So let's head over to Teams and check it out. So we should see that the content of the Teams meeting is blank. Ta-da! And that is how you display line breaks for a multi-line text column for a Teams meeting. I hope you learned something from me today and don't forget to watch the previous WTF episode if you haven't already. Please like, comment and subscribe and in my next WTF episode, I'll show you how you can use HTML for your Teams meeting. I'll see you next time. Bye! Turn up. Let's, let's go.